If you're a real estate videographer and you're looking to spice up your videos, then try this day to night transition. So as a videographer myself, I see 95% of the time videographers just do simple push-ins and pull-outs of rooms in slow motion and it's hard for the viewer to watch the whole video because it's just, it's really repetitive and boring. Um, they might as well just go to the photos for that. So to change it up and kind of spice it up a bit, using day to night transitions and other effects can keep your audience engaged throughout the whole video and quite frankly, gives your agent a step up from 95% of all other agents because they're using content the way I'm creating right now. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I'll show you how to do this day to night effect. So when doing this effect, we need to actually go to the house and show you how it's actually shot because shooting it properly is key for doing the editing process after. So let's go. You wanna pick a line on how you're gonna shoot. So say this was the shot I wanted to transition to another one, um, into a night shot. You would do this movement during the, during the day and then at night, make sure you're doing the exact same movement um, to replicate it. And then it creates a smoother transition in post-production when editing. So I would do this shot, line it up, get the shot and then replicate that exact shot with a night shot. So now that you know how to do the videography side, it's time to get in the edit and show you how to actually do the transition. So let's go. So first of all, we're in Premiere. We have our two shots. So we've got shot one here, we've got shot two here. Now it doesn't matter which shot you want to use first, I'd prefer to use day. So let's just drag the whole day clip in and I'm just gonna cut it up to what part we want of this house. So we probably want from here, push in and it'll probably transition around here. So we'll cut that, bring it to the start. So we've got our first part of the clip. Now we need the night part. So let's just, let's just drag the whole night clip in, why not? Just gonna cut it roughly here, just to chop it up and make it a bit easier. Just gonna push in about there. Let's see, delete that. So now that we have, <coughs> so now we have two parts of the clip. I'm just gonna quickly color grade them just so they look a bit easier when we're actually making the transition. So quick color grade. So now that we have both clips color graded, it's not perfect, but it's just for the purpose of the video. We now need to grab our night clip and drag it just above our day clip, wherever you want the transition to happen. So I want it roughly, let's say here, I'll grab it and just drag it above. So from here, we need to make sure that the day and night are perfectly positioned above each other to make the most seamless part of the transition. So to do this, we grab our night clip and just go to effects and drop the opacity down a little. So let's just say 95%. So now that we've dropped the opacity down on the night clip, you can actually begin to see the day clip behind in some areas. So this will allow us to actually align both clips together so it's actually gonna be more seamless. So now that we have the night clip, we wanna roughly adjust the position and scale so they kind of blend together. So that's probably as good as we're gonna get it. It's blended. I'm just gonna turn off the bottom layer just to make sure it's all pretty blended. Yep. They're pretty good. It's slightly out, um, although it shouldn't matter too much with the video. So, yep. They're pretty good. Okay, so now we wanna to go to our opacity again of our night clip that we dropped down and turn it back up to 100%. All right, so now that we have both clips aligned, we've got the day and night and they're 
perfectly kind of together now and it's looking nice, we need to actually create the effect to seamlessly transition between the two. So to do this, we're gonna grab an effect called Gradient Wipe. So go over to your effects panel, Gradient Wipe, and then in Transitions, drag Gradient Wipe onto your top layer. So that'll be the night shot. So now that we have Gradient Wipe. So from here, we wanna find where we want the transition to end of this clip. So let's say, I'll just zoom up a bit. We've got the clip. Say I want the transition to end around here. So now we go over to our effects controls, scroll down to gradient wipe, and then just here, transition completion, hold up. Transition completion and transition smoothness. We've found the area we want, the transition to end, just here. We go over and click the stopwatches for both. So now that we've clicked the stopwatches for both on the end of the clip, we go to where we want the transition to start. So we want it to start around here. So now we go back to transition completion and transition smoothness and we put them to 100%. And there you go, that's how simple it is to do a day to night seamless transition in Premiere Pro. It's really easy, it takes two seconds and it, it's honestly not that much more work you have to do when at the property. So to make your videos better, to get more clients, to get more agents, uh, to get more people watching your videos, I highly suggest doing effects like this that are really easy to do and it just makes your videos pop that little bit more. So with that being said, We'll see you at the next one and let's go have a great day.